The Weed of the Week is sponsored by the Enlist Weed Control System from Dow AgroSciences, a new herbicide and trait system that will build on glyphosate. Farming isn't just in the land, it's in you. Take control of weeds like never before. Enlist builds on the Roundup Ready system, combining proven control of a new 2,4-D and glyphosate in Enlist Dual Herbicide. Protect what matters without changing the way you farm. Talk to your seed or crop protection supplier today. Weed of the Week is buckbrush. Now this is one of those, what I would consider pasture and non-crop land types of weeds that can be a little bit of a challenge. You're out there spraying thistles or you're spraying uh, you know, some other broadleaf type weed. Then you come upon this buckbrush, this woody species. It's a perennial that can be really difficult. All right, so when I first became an agronomist, my dad talked to me about buckbrush because he said, look, a lot of guys are gonna be out spraying 2,4-D and you know it'll burn down a lot of stuff but it's not that great but he said look if you want to spike that 2,4-D up throw a quart of crop oil in per acre with that and we do that even today so if you're going to go out there with LV6 we'd probably recommend quart quart and a half of LV6 throw a quart of crop oil in and yup you're going to have a little bit of burn on your grass but you'll then have better activity on this buckbrush now, the, the trouble with doing this is you think right away, oh, 2,4-D is cheap. Yep, I want to go cheap. Well, have you seen what's happened with the price of Tordon now? You could go out there with a pint of Tordon for similar money to a quart and a half of LV6 and, and oil. So which would I rather have? I'd absolutely rather have the pint of Tordon. <laughs> that isn't even a choice. You get and, these woody species. That's where Tordon just steps way away from 2,4-D. And also yep. with Tordon, what I like about it is it has the ability of getting down into that root system and moving through the root system. Now, like I say, you could go out there with a pint, but what I would do is I'd have a rate one and a rate two. If I could have my rate two at a quart, then anytime you get to a buckbrush patch or a leafy spurge patch or a thistle patch, you just kick it up to rate two and bam there you go but all I'm trying to say is this hey at a pint we're gonna do pretty darn good we're gonna have some residual that's nice we should be able to stop that buck brush but boy at a court now we're talking permanent control okay now there are some specialty products that do pretty well on brush type species uh, but a lot of times on our show you'll hear us talk about milestone Tordon and 240 and the reason why is because these products are so broad spectrum that you're going to get a lot of the different weed species that are out there if you've got thistles we like milestone if you've got some of this brush and some thistles and leafy spurge Tordon's great Otherwise, like Brian said with 2,4-D, a lot of guys will just try to get by with 2,4-D. Hey, I could do a lot of stuff out here and there's no residual. So, hey, if I choose to till this ground up and next year I'm going to try to crop farm it, I don't have any carryover that I'm going to have to worry about like something like Tordon and, and Milestone having. Well, that's it for our Weed of the Week buck brush, but stay tuned. Iron Talk is coming up next.